From August 26th to 30th, the third Youth Environmental Conference of the United Nations Environment Program was hosted by Bayer in Leverkusen. For almost a week, some 180 young environmentalists from 85 countries examined a whole range of issues related to technology in the service of environment. The days were filled with curiosity, new experiences, discoveries, and of course, emotion. All the workshops, excursions, and presentations focused on climate change. During the opening ceremony, Chairman of the Bear Board of Management Werner Wenning emphasized that Bear takes these challenges very seriously. He pointed out that emissions of greenhouse gases have been cut to such an extent over the past 15 years that the targets set by the Kyoto Protocol have already been exceeded. He also explained that bear products help to conserve resources and save energy in a whole variety of ways. And bear wants to do even more. In his speech, Venning introduced the group's new climate program, which aims to develop specific solutions for protecting the environment and responding to climate change. We systematically deploy all innov innovative capability and know-how to develop new products and solutions for climate protection and dealing with climate change. Besides debating climate change, conference delegates had the chance in workshops and plenary sessions during the event to address issues such as the importance of renewable energies, the transfer of technology, and how best to plan environmental projects. I'm discovering something new in my life so that I think the thing that I'll be seeing it will be uh, very useful for me and for my society when, when I will be go back home. The presentation of Bear's environmental activities formed a key component of the conference. Delegates were particularly impressed by the water treatment facilities and waste incineration plants at the Bear sites in Dormagen and Leverkusen. I think this is the state of art the technology should be. And this is a very good example and a role model for other countries, especially in developing countries, to follow on. It's a very good, it's already changed my mind. I'm, I'm very much impressed the way the buyer is doing to uh, help to reduce the environmental problems. Another highlight of the trips to model environmental projects and facilities in North Rhine-Westphalia was a visit to the Mont Cenis Energy Park in Hanna. The park boasts the world's largest roof-mounted solar power station, which supplies power to the entire park complex. Here is Germany. I mean, like, they're using the sunlight. I'm from Turkey, and, you know, if we can, if, if we can use this technology back at home, it will work more. He said, like, uh, 30 meters square of this uh, installation uh, can uh, supply a house. So in a country like mine, you know, like 10 square meters would be enough. So I mean, like, we could use these techni techniques at home and, you know, we can, you know, create a better world. Now is the time for a central function of the conference involved the delegates electing some of their own to represent the various regions of the world on the Tunza Youth Advisory Council. Now is the time for Over the coming three years, these newly elected youth advisors will represent the interests of young people within and outside UNEP. For many young people, the conference represented the start of a new chapter in their lives. At first, you feel very good, but shocking, you know. Then, very good, like, okay, I feel very good, but it's a big responsibility. It's not like say, okay, now I feel happy and I will not do nothing. No, it's a big responsibility, and I'm afraid about that. Throughout the five days of the conference, the delegates were looked after by young bear trainees and staff, and the event had a profound effect on them, too.
Everyone really got on well with everyone else, no matter what country they were from. So from that point of view, it was an incredible week. And it's a shame that it had to end. It has been really interesting and I'm very happy to have been a part of it. It has been a truly unique experience that I'll never forget. It was just perfect. perfect. The Tunza International Youth Conference drew to a close with a tree planting initiative involving all 180 delegates. The initiative was part of the Billion Tree Campaign, which was founded by UNEP and is supported by Bayer. The campaign aims to plant 1 billion trees in 2007 alone. This is just one of the activities and this could be a great help because let's start with something like this and then let's see how uh, this activity would create uh, more uh, effects in the future. So we see a lot of the, uh, the modern technologies by use and the workshop from by your side. So I think it's very, a, a very good company with strong corporate social responsibility. So I really like Bayer, so they made a lot for the environment. When I come to Germany, I can't imagine that a buyer like this. <laughs> I go in the factory and uh, I see it like a city. <laughs> I'm just going to use my knowledge on, on, the, on, on what I've learned here in Germany from the bear sites, from the sites in Germany, to make propositions to those in charge in my country. Mm -hmm.